Thank you for tuning in to the Maryland Doubles Crokinole Championship. This is a Tier 2 National Crokinole Association event, and we are now in the finals in this matchup. We have on your left the Beer View Mirrors, Jason and Chet from the Extra Pint Crokinole Club. Up against them is Team Tracy, Garrett, and Jeremy. To learn more about these teams, watch our overview video. But with that, let's get right to the action. With those intros taken care of, we can get right into the action, as is tradition in a many of the uh, tournaments take place in America. We do the volley to decide who gets first hammer. The Tracys did win that volley, so they get hammer in the first round. Truly is four friends sitting around playing a game with Crokinole here, so uh, we shook hands not once but twice to get ready for this friendly competition. Jacob's up a little bit short on that... Uh, his first open 20 and opens the door for Tracy to take an early lead. Make short work of that offering. Chet goes a little bit long, but leaves it posted. Looks like Garrett was, I'm not sure if he was going for the 20, but he definitely, he knew he wasn't going to get the off, so he just tried to bounce back. Tracy's in pretty good position now. They have the hammer, and uh, although there's two opposition bun buttons on, discs on, whatever you want to call them, they're still in pretty good shape. At some point, they're going to need another 20 or a double, but uh, they're looking pretty comfortable. If you can hear the crowd, the gallery in the background, you're going to hear some stories and some good bids that uh, we hope it was good-hearted uh, teasing and not making fun of the Canadians that was going on. But, uh, yeah, there was a fair bit. It, it became a bit of an expression of the weekend. Sorry and good bid. So if you hear that, that's what's going on. Speaking of playing among friends, there's Jay doing something very friendly, dropping a 20 for the Tracys, giving them uh, a very, very friendly uh, advantage in this first round. Jeremy content to play to the outside and make Chet shoot all the way through to the other side. Little discussion between the Tracys here. And... Um, Even better than he could have hoped for, I would imagine. Uh, Jason Malloy wisely peels there. They were uh, they were pretty dead to rights. Tracy decides to leave the opponent's button on to continue just uh, just burning off buttons on the outside of the host there. Malloy likely to go for a double here. He may even try to roll in, but that's it's going to be a pretty tough shot. Tracy's are up 220s. They have hammer. They have two discs on. It's not mathematically impossible yet, but it's getting uh, it's getting quite likely there's going to be two points to the good guys, as they say. Not that this commentator is biased in any way, shape, or form. Nice double by Chet. Great roll by Garrett, not giving Jason much of an angle there to work with. The angle he left him pretty much directed him into that post. Inconsequential shots at this point. First round goes to the Tracys. They take a 2-0 lead in this race to nine. Round two, Jeremy first to act. Goes a little bit long. Not what he wanted, I'm sure. Chet makes a valid shot, doesn't get a 20, doesn't get the off, but uh, Tracy's are going to be looking for a touch 20 here. Did not touch, touch the post instead of the opponent's disc. Tough go. Mm, looks like Jeremy has a shot at a double takeout, but it's a little tricky with a post in there. Gets the single and pulls back, not ideal. He would have rather been up closer to those pegs. Now does Garrett have a line on a double? He may just look to push in. Hmm. Wanted it a little too much, I think. Jason able to Jason unable to make that hurt, but not giving Jeremy any great options here. It looks like he just wants to uh, leave Chet with a difficult shot through the pegs. Push that a little too far. Still draws the mistake out of Chet. 
Tracy's have life in this round. Simple takeout by Garrett. Jason's going to go for the roll in by the. Oh, wow. Double takeout. He may have opened up a sliver of opportunity here for Tracy. What's he got? Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not biased at all. <laughs> Bit of a discussion there between the beer view mirrors. Looks like Chat wants to try to make something out of this. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was going for. May, what does Garrett have to work with? He uh, maybe an angle in bump and run. It's not perfectly set up, but it. I think that's what he was going for. Caught the peg on the way in. Tracy's sitting two discs on, but against the hammer. Malloy going for the uh, off 20 there. A little bit off on his angle, but again, hasn't opened up any great opportunities. Tracy tried to force that in there. Instead, leaves a, leaves a bit of a gift for Chet. Quite a heavy hanger, though. We'll see if he's able to convert off of this. Looks like he's considering going through his own. That uh, yeah, could very well be the best option. Didn't get the 20, but he got the off. They're still in pretty good shape. Decision time here. Garrett could go for a follow through. He could try to angle in. Three shots left for each team. Garrett gets another one up in the 15. That's not all bad. Jay may be looking to come in and use his own as a bit of a backboard. Good try. We'll see how close that is. Is Jeremy going to be able to drop back off of this? He is. Doesn't secure the off, though. That could be costly. Those fives can get you at the end of a round. They're still against the hammer, and after this shot, they're likely going to be... Yeah. Jay and Chad have three discs on. A lot of work for Garrett to do. Garrett's going to be pushing for an off 20 here. Hmm. Didn't quite get it. All Jay needs to do, simple hit and stick, and they're going to knot this up at two points apiece. Hammer holds strong so far. Nice highlight double takeout for Jay. Chat finds his range, opens up with a nice open 20. Not sure why they're abusing Jeremy, but uh, they are. A little bit of bullying. If you need somebody to talk to, Jay, just let us know. Jason goes long in his open 20. Advantage Tracy's at this point, very slight advantage, and they may have left a sliver open here for Chet to angle in. Unable to squeeze that in. Looks like Garrett's set to go through his own. Nice. Tracy's have hammer, tied up in the 20 cup, sitting two discs on. Forcing Jason to shoot through the bags or at least across the board. See what Jeremy does with this. See if he wants to try to. I think he wanted to roll a little bit further and jam things up for Chet. Not an easy angle, but when you're that long, I guess it's uh, it's quite possible to get way over to the left or right. Oh, good bid. Sorry. <laughs> but. Uh, Unable to secure that 20. Tracy's still sitting pretty good, but they definitely do not want to stay sitting around that 20 hole. Not bad. Right side of the hole, as they say. Jay's going to be forced to go for a follow through here. That's a fairly hefty follow through. Oh, I think he was trying to go all the way through and leave that, uh, leave that drop back for Chet. Jeremy makes him pay by draining that open 20. I think that was a bit far away for Chet anyway. We'll see. It looks like he's going to try it, so he may prove me wrong. I'm a huge fan of drop back 20. I feel like uh, people can drop back a lot further than they think sometimes, but that one, that one looks a long way off. <laughs> Appeared to be a little bit displeased with that offering. A little peg getting in the way. Oh, so close to piling on. Garrett just barely lips out. Mm, 
that was a tough angle for Jay to work with. Things are getting really deep for them now. Tracy's sitting with four discs on. A little bit of a discussion there, and Chet tried to uh, angle in for a 20 off of that. Garrett didn't have a lot of options there to try to get the takeout. He's probably going to take a blue disc off the board. Definitely not what they wanted, so he settles for a simple valid shot touch. Running out of bullets, three shots each left at this point. Jason going for that Circus 20. Didn't have much to work with. Tracy probably going to try to pile on here. He does with another uh, touch 20. Last couple shots here, basically inconsequential. Maybe not, yeah. All right, there we go. One shot left each, but Tracy's up three 20s. Tracy's take a four to two lead in this race to nine. Couple of highlight touch 20s by the Tracy pair. Garrett comes up a little short on his open 20 to start this fourth round. Chet and Jay with the hammer. Tracy's going to be looking to draw a mistake out of them, create some sort of an opportunity that allows them to get a 20 and get back to where they should be. When I say should be, when you are against the hammer, you want to be leading in the 20 cup, and they are even in the 20 cup at this point. Jason content to hit and stick on the outside. Tracy's definitely going to be looking to carve this in. Get things back in the house. Eh, not really in, but uh, see what uh, see if Chet is able to take this out and not, uh, not create any opportunities for Garrett. There's a chance that button, that disc, button, whatever you want to call it, is going to come back off the peg a little. Oh, perfect hit and stick. Not going to be a tough takeout for Garrett, but it's going to be awfully tough to uh, manifest a 20 out of this in any way. <laughs> Little strategy discussion. Jay saying he wants to play clean. I think what he means by that, he's just looking to definitely get the takeout, keep his shooter on. Yeah, they're doing a really good job keeping play to the outside. It's hard to uh, hard to get in that 20s race when every shot is requiring you to just get it peeled back into the house, carved back into the house, however you want to say it. Oh, bit of a mistake there. A little discussion about the hammer token. Some people like those. I find they tend to uh, travel around the board. So if it's not sitting in the right place to tell you who has the hammer, I feel like bad information is better than no information. But uh, yeah, cool idea. Chat content to play to the outside. Garrett's going to be looking to carve this in. Ooh, unable to do that. Jay's going to hit and stick on the outside. Force Jeremy to shoot all the way across the board. Oh, and a nice hide, too. Oh, there's an opening there. He should be able to get this. He did pick that off, but uh, the Tracys are still in trouble here. Yeah, not only do they not have an opportunity for a 20, they uh, even securing the off at this point is going to be a little bit tough. Yeah. Even if Garrett had got that, Jay was still simply going to hit and stick on the outside over there. Jeremy's getting greedy at this point, pushing for that 20. At this point, they already have it on the board, so... Chet chooses to shoot his final shot away. We're knotted up 4-4. Jay comes up short. See if Jeremy is able to come in for the touch 20 and make this hurt. Little discussion between him and his partner. Didn't secure the 20, but uh, got away with one there. Two discs on the outside. 
Well, never make it when you say that. Oh, oh, was it you seen in second or third? Nice takeout by Garrett. I think he would have rather roll up toward the post and got a bit of a hide there, but regardless, they're still in pretty good position. Jeremy choosing to take that one closer to himself. I guess he doesn't believe uh, doesn't believe he's left an angle there for Chet to work with. Didn't want to go into the house just yet. Hmm. Chet loses his shooter. If Garrett's able to secure that, he may be able to... Oh, I thought he might be able to get the off and stay to the outside. He did half of that, so they're uh, they're still okay. Now Jeremy has a decision to make, because the one in the 15 is going to be an awfully tough takeout. Takes the one in the 10. He's got to try to leave it in a position and not give Chet an angle in. He got up between the posts a bit, but he may have opened the door just a sliver. If Chet's able to get in, another discussion... Little pro tip: recommend finding a finding a partner that you have similar views with. It could make uh, could make gameplay go a little faster. <laughs> I believe Jeremy and Garrett have uh, spent a fair bit of time on the Crokinole board together and share some share some strategic opinions. Makes their decision making go a little quicker. <laughs> oh, nice angle in by Chet. Good action, as they say, catching. Catching a good number of pegs. Oh, Garrett got greedy going for that touch 20. Didn't get the off. Didn't get the 20. Leaves a heavy hanger for Jay. Is he going to be able to make it hurt? Oh, he does not. Instead, he leaves it for Jeremy. A bit of a hanger there. Still a bit heavy. Oh, Jeremy doesn't want it either. These guys are putting on a clinic of what not to do. Oh, Chet completes the round robin. They had all sorts of jackpots for this this tournament, but I'm not sure messing up um, four 20s in a row was one of the jackpots that was on the table. Not sure what Jay was going for there, but what he's got is, uh, yeah, still pretty decent advantage to the Tracys. Only because they have hammer. Garrett and Jeremy having a quick discussion. Decides to replace that one. He may have opened up an opportunity here for Chet to go for, I mean, it would be a blast, but a double takeout follow through. So it's currently tied on the board. All Garrett has to do is touch a button. Disc. Make a valid shot. That's all he has to do, which he does. Going up six to four in this race to nine. Certainly hasn't been an open 20s festival here as Jeremy goes long on his first open 20 offering. Chet going for the drift 20, I believe. Overshoots it a little bit, but uh, a good result for him, even though he didn't get the 20. Garrett able to pick that off through the pegs. Tracy's discussing whether they want to get in or hide. Quick decision. They decide to try to hide. And then uh, the concept might have been good. The execution was a little off. Jeremy unable to get in behind those pegs like he was hoping for. Leaves Chet a fairly open shot. Chet didn't get the takeout, but that's, yeah, not necessarily the worst thing. Tracy sitting two on, but uh, likely won't matter. There's a double there for Jay, although sometimes you get aggressive on these shots, you can lose your shooter. He does not. Nice double takeout. Draws a fist pump out of his opponent, <laughs> out of his partner. He pulls a fist pump of some kind out of his opponent. Again, four pretty good friends sitting around this table, so uh, a little bit of tomfoolery, but all in good fun. Nice touch by Chet coming all the way through the house at an awkward angle. Mm. Garrett thinks he can angle in without losing the blue. He angled in. He was half right. Mm. Again. The U.S. team able to keep play to the outside. 
Chet chooses to drive through the house. Not always my first choice, but he pulled that off. Nice hide by Garrett. Let's see if they're able to draw a mistake out of Jason. Here it is. Here's the opportunity. Is Jeremy going to be able to make this hurt? Can he drain this open 20, put huge pressure on? He goes long again. Not only does he go long, but he sets up Chet for a 20 that he didn't want either. These guys putting on another clinic. That draws some sorries and some good bids out of the gallery. Comment down below if you would actually buy that bumper sticker like people have been suggesting over the weekend. Hmm. Another opportunity for Tracy here. Is he able to... They're discussing whether they want a touch 20 or an off 20. Garrett says he wants a 20. That's all he cares about. Jeremy gives him the 20. They could still be in trouble here against the hammer. Check it's two in the house. Little discussion between the Tracys. Ah, Garrett was going for a lot. They were uh, they were in deep. It was going to take a pretty spectacular shot to uh, to save that round. Malloy able to secure that final shot to win it on the board. 25 on the board to 20 in the cup takes it. It was actually uh, I was actually quite surprised how late in the match it took to start the chance of USA. Now somebody is mocking, singing "Oh Canada." I'm not sure they know the words, but regardless, Chet starts out with an open 20. Garrett answers back with an open 20 of his own. Players finding their range, and as I say that, Malloy comes up significantly short, leaving Tracy with a tough spot. Oh, okay, easier than I thought. Is Garrett going to be able to make Chet pay for that mistake? He is. Take out 20. Jay answers back. Tracy's with Hammer, tied in the 20 cup. Jeremy going to be able to keep the pressure on? He is. That was efficient. Barely enough gas to get in there. Chet answers back. Players finally putting on some uh, <laughs> championship level 20 shooting. Oh, Jay goes long. Tracy's up a 20. With hammer. Race to nine. This round is pretty important. Chet. Nice. Drift in 20 by Chet. Does not secure the off, but I'm not sure he was going for it. I'm not sure it was there. Mm. Garrett barely lips out. They want to try to take the, uh, the one that's further away to leave that setup for Chet. Jeremy's not one to leave set up sitting there if there's any way around it. He's even been known to cut off his nose despite his face. And uh, yeah, that worked out. He got everything away. Tied in the 20 cup. Tracy's with two on. They got a 15 and a 10 on against a five. And uh, yeah, the challenge with that situation was if Chad had been able to uh, follow through for a 20 there, there's still... Uh, there's still a disc on the outside that Garrett would have had to have hit. Garrett going for the off roll away. Doesn't get the off, but he doesn't leave Jason set up either. There may be a double takeout sitting there for Jeremy, but he's got to go across that center hole. So let's see what he decides to do. Nice double. Nice double. He half hold it. Got himself in pretty good position here. Got his team in pretty good position. Both teams with two shots left. After much thought and deliberation, here's Chet with his shot. Nice double takeout by Garrett. One shot left each. Jay decides to go to the far side. 
He, uh, if he can get hidden behind a post, they could uh, they could pull a tie out of this. Well, I'm not sure what happened there. It looked like, uh, yeah, looked like we're moving on to the next round. Tracy's are up eight to uh, six in this race to nine. So even a tie in this final round will secure it for them. Jeremy first to shoot, drains that open twenty, putting pressure on. Chat answers back. <laughs> Chat calling for a touch 20 there. Jay unable to convert, but they're in decent position here. They've got hammer. Jeremy content to just simply uh, hit and stick. They're sitting with two on. They say all they need to do is draw a draw a tie out of this uh, out of this round. Given that it's a race tonight, if they split this round one point each, Tracy's win. <laughs> oh, that may be something that Jeremy can work with. What's he able to do? This takeout twenty would be huge at this point. Oh, gets the twenty, does not get the takeout. Nice takeout by Chet. <laughs> Garrett's saying, I'm not touching that. He's going to take that one closer to himself, roll over, and make Jay's life uncomfortable. Jeremy approves. Draws the mistake out of Jay. That was a tough line there, especially with, uh, with their own disc blocking Hogan's alley. Jeremy content with the takeout, pushes in a little bit. They're up a 20, sitting 25 on the board against the hammer. Far from over. Secures the takeout. Garrett's saying he's not going for the touch. He's going to be looking to get rid of that and roll away. <laughs> what a beauty shot. What a beauty shot. Got away. He is close enough to the post that Jay is going to be hard-pressed to carve in off of that. If it had been not pushed quite as far, there might have been a line for a double, but now the pegs are in the way. That was all kinds of awesome as far as a leave goes. See what Jay's going to try to do with this. Jeremy Content stay to the outside. Again, just a simple takeout, but he left it in a pretty good position. He may have... Mm, doesn't look like Chet's even considering the double trying to push the uh, blue disc all the way through the hose. Looks like he's going to try to carve in. He gets in. Doesn't get the 20. I'm not sure if he was going for the 20, but he has left. It's going to be a tough spot for Garrett because looking for the to secure that takeout, there's posts in the way. He gets it but does roll back closer to the 20 hole than he would like to be. That is for sure. Big shot here, Jay taking an extra second. Oh, not far off. That definitely crossed over that center hole. Tracy's are in good position, but again, this is not over. Far from over, yep, move that hammer disc. Jay's saying to Chet, we need a 20. He's going to be looking to come off that and catch a peg. He lipped off the center hole. One shot left for each team. That's the nail in the coffin right there. At this point, they need two off and two 20s. Unable to do it. Jay had one job to do. All he needed was two off and two 20s in order to tie that round and still lose. Ten six final in this race to nine points between the teams of Garrett and Jeremy against Jay and Chet from Voorheesville, New York. They put up a good showing 
Upcoming events are on your screen, and if you ever want to know what is happening in the NCA and what tier they are, the details, all that, go to the NCA page, stay up to date, and stay tuned for more coverage. I believe the next uh, tournament we will be covering is the Ontario Doubles Championship, taking place on November the 16th in Bruce Field, Ontario. Be there or be square. Do all the YouTube stuff, like, share, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, make it a great day.